Hi, and welcome back to ELA with Miss Wardell. So, today we are doing um, Lesson 11. It goes with our Chapter 15. It's titled The Quakers and the Lene Lenape. Alright? So, we're only going to do 11.1 today. Um, and these go along with our chapter, so hopefully you've been able to read or listen to our chapter. Um, why were Charles, Hester, and their father delivering gifts to the Lenape? Lenape? Well, on the very first page, it talks about Charles, Hester, and their father, Micah, walked slowly towards the Lene Lenape village. They were delivering gifts from some of the families who lived in their small Quaker colony. Right? So they were delivering gifts um, in their from their small Quaker colony, but why? Well, just earlier, one year, just one year earlier in 1685, some of the younger Lene Lenape men had helped several newly arriving English and most Welsh Quakers clear land for farming. So they were, they were, they had helped them, and they were giving them a gift. <clears throat> so, we found that on that very first page, page 156, right? And I could say they were delivering um, gifts. Because the tribe had helped the Quakers, because there are certain type of people, I have to um, capitalize Quakers, had to, or helped the Quakers. in the past. I don't have to necessarily say what they did or how long ago it was, but I can just say that they helped them in the past and that's why they were delivering gifts. Okay? Number two says, what does it mean that King Charles II gave William Penn land in America to settle a debt he owed his father? He owed to William's father, right? So remember, we read or it talked about in the reading um, uh, that the way Penn got this was because the king had owed his father money, right? Let's see. In 1681, William Penn, a Quaker, and the leader of the colony had received the land now known as Pennsylvania from King Charles II of England. The king had given him the land to settle a debt he owed to William's father. William Penn was grateful to the king because he wanted this land to be a place where the Quakers could live without fear. So what does that mean? So in order to a debt a debt, let's see if it's in the back of our glossary back here. So, because really you need to know what that is before open, I went a long way. Okay, so a debt is money or something else owed. So he's just repaying him, right? Yeah. So when it asks us, what does it mean that King Charles gave William Penn land in America to settle a debt? He was repaying so repaying William's father Uh, 
right? Pay, he's repaying William's father what he owed him. So sometimes it doesn't necessarily have to be just money. You can repay in a in the amount that was was given. So he repaid him the money he owed. So he was repaying William's father what he had owed him. That's what it meant. And so he just gave him land instead of money. Right? Remember we looked at that one on page 160. Page 160. All right. Let's look and it says what kinds of clothing did the Lene Lenape wear? Okay? So what kinds of clothing did they wear? Well, I remember when we read, they really didn't talk about their clothing until later on around this area. Let's see, what kind of clothing did the Lene Lenape wear? Um, they said hello. Both Charles and Hester had taught Laponiza to speak English. Enjoy spending time with them. We have gifts, Hester replied, joining the children as they marched behind their father into the Lene Lenape village. The people in the village smiled at the children's father that came to greet him. Charles always admired the breech cloth and leggings that the men wore. Okay, so the men wore breech cloths and leggings. Men wore breech cloth and leggings. Okay, and let's see if it talks about the women on that same page. On the same page it says leggings. The women wore dresses and their and their long dark hair was braided. Right? And also said that they were moccasins. So we can say the women Got to fix that. The women wore long dresses. Right? Long dresses. And we could say, and everyone wore moccasins. Period. And we found that on page 164. Remember? Page 164 at the bottom. Alright. Almost done. We're going to go to the back side for number four. And it asks us to describe the Lene Lenape village. Well, Let's see. When I was looking back through and they're walking, it says the village was on the bank of a long winding river. In the village there were about 30 wigwams and four longhouses. So they had, um, they had wigwams and longhouses. You could say it was near the bank of a river. The village was near the bank of a river and had long houses.
and wigwam. Can you all can see. Um, looks like they had uh, corn and or crops with canoes. We could even say um, they had crops and canoes growing. Well, the canoes didn't grow, but the crops growing. Um, so as well as means that also as well as crops growing and canoes, right? Period. We can find, and we found that on page 158. We are not going to compare. <laughs> no, no, no. We are not going to compare. But, so that takes care of number four. That's all we're going to do today. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys.